I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Here is a question from one of my students who wants to understand how to find these parameters A, B, C and D for a question where we are given horizontal tangent points. So let's look into it and I hope it helps many of you. The question here is consider the function f of x equals to 3x to the power of 4 plus ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Find constants a, b, c and d such that the graph of the function will have horizontal tangents at minus 2 minus 73 and 0 minus 9. Part b is find the third point where the graph will have horizontal tangent C is analyze the three points for local maximum or local minimum. Now, there are four unknowns, so we need four equations. We have two conditions given. One is horizontal tangent at two points. That will give us two conditions. And the points themselves will give us two other conditions, correct? So they should help us to find the solution. So first let's use these points. So let's find what is f of 0 equals to. If I substitute 0 here, I get this as equal to uh, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. Since x is 0, right? Uh, just the value d and the value of d is minus 9. So this is equal to minus 9, correct? So, so that gives you one result which is uh, d equals to minus 9. Okay, so let's write down this d equals to minus 9 as one of our results. Okay, let's substitute minus 2 now. So f of minus 2 will be what? Minus 2 to the power of 4 will be a positive quantity. So we have 3 times 2 to the power of 4 which is 16. This will be a negative quantity minus 8a. Uh, this will be positive. 2 squared is 4. And this will be negative, so minus 2c. And since d is 0, so I'm just writing, uh, sorry, uh, d is minus 9. So, so I'm going to write here minus 9. Is that clear to you? Right? So, so that is what we get for f of minus 2, since d is minus 9. And we know this value of f of minus 2 is minus 73. So this is all equals to minus 73. Does it make sense to you? Correct? Now, from this condition, we'll get an equation for a, b, and c, right? So, so we could get one equation. Let's get this. Uh, 3 times 16 is 48. And this is minus 8a uh, plus 4b minus 2c minus 9 equals to minus 73. Uh, bringing uh, the constants to the right side, keeping the unknown parameters on the left side, we get minus 8a plus 4b minus 2c equals to minus 73 plus 9 minus 48. Good. So, well, we can do this math. Uh, we'll do it later. But first, now let's also work with the uh, <clears throat> derivatives. Uh, <coughs> since at 0, uh, we know it's a horizontal tangent, so the value of c can be 0, right? So we'll work with the derivatives first. So the derivative of this function is what? 4 times 3, 12, 12x cubed, uh, plus 3ax squared, plus 2bx, plus c. Now, from the derivatives, we are given, we have a horizontal tangent at 0, x equals to 0. So, so f dash 0 is basically 0, right? So if I substitute here 0, we get 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus c, which is equal to 0. That means c is equal to 0. Is that clear to you, right? So let me highlight this also. c equals to 0 we get. Uh, so we can simplify this a bit more. So from here, we get the equation as minus 8a plus 4b. c is 0. Uh, now we can combine this. Uh, so 3 plus 
well this is more negative so let me write negative first so let's add these negative quantities and take away uh, 9 so 3 plus 8 is 11 take away 9 will give us uh, 2 All right so we get 2 here and then we have 7 plus 4 as again 11 okay so it is 112 so we get this quantity as 112 okay now uh, let's we also know that the derivative at minus 2 is also 0 right horizontal tangent right there so we'll substitute minus 2 here get another equation so minus 2 cube will be minus 8 let me write like this so 12 times minus 2 cube plus 3a times minus 2 square plus 2b times minus 2 and we know c is 0 right since we know c is 0 we'll write plus 0 here since we know c is 0 correct okay so so the derivative is 0 since we have a horizontal tangent so this is for horizontal tangents right so this is 8 that gives us 96 right uh, 4 times 3 is 12 a minus 4 b so we get this equation with minus 4 b well taking 96 to this side we get 96 equals to 12 a minus 4 b okay so let's call this as our equation number one and this as our equation number two now if I add these two equations 4b 4b cancels correct so let me add equation 1 and 2 so if I add 4b 4b cancels we get uh, minus 8a plus 12b which is 4a equals 2 uh, minus 112 plus 96 okay so which is 16 right minus 16 this is, this is minus 1 1 so from here we get a equals to minus 4 correct so we get the value of a as minus 4 now substituting a as minus 4 we can find what b is okay so let's substitute minus 4 here we get minus 8 times minus 4 plus 4b equals to minus 1 1 2 so 4b is equal to 1, 1, 2. That becomes negative 32, right? Now, so taking away 32, 11 take away 3 is 8. Okay, so b is equal to 80 divided by 4, which is 20. Um, well, this was minus 1, 1, 2. I did a mistake here. So minus 1, 1, 2 minus 32. So that becomes... Uh, minus we get 4 and 3 144 right so so the value of b will be minus 144 divided by 4 which is 4 times 3 and then 36 with a negative sign minus 36 right so we get b as uh, equals to minus 36 okay uh, minus 144 divided by 4 right so kind uh, we get our equation and we can write f of x as equals to 3x to the power of 4 and a value is minus 4 minus 4x cube b is minus 36 minus 36x square c and d uh, c is 0 and d is negative 9 so we get negative 9 here right so that becomes our function is that clear to you so that is how we could find the values of a b c and and d so clearly uh, we have our solution which is uh, uh, let me highlight all these values right so a is minus 4 b is minus 36 d is minus 9 and c is equals to 0 okay part b is find the third point where the graph will have a horizontal tangent so basically in the derivative of our function which is 12x cubed plus 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c we can now substitute the a and b value and find the third point, right? Okay, so let's do it on a fresh page. So clearly, we found our equation f of x as equal to uh, 
3x to the power of 4. This was minus 4x cubed minus 36x squared uh, and that was uh, minus 9, correct? So these were the values. Now we need to find the the horizontal tangent. So let me just find the derivative once again for the given function. So which is 12x cubed and here we have minus 12x squared and then we have minus 72x well that is 0 so that's what we get now we can factor this taking 12x common right so 12x is common so we get x square and here we get uh, plus uh, sorry minus x uh, minus 1 x and here we get uh, 12 times 6 so we get minus 6 now that gives us uh, 3 and 2 3 negative so you could factor this and get 12x times x minus 3 times x plus 2 so the next uh, 0 is at x equals to 3 so f dash of 3 is equal to 0 so that is the third point where we have a horizontal tangent, right? So, so if I substitute 3 here, so what do we get? So f of 3 is what? That's what we need to calculate now. So we get 3 times, if I substitute 3 here, we get 81, which is power 4, uh, <coughs> minus 4, 27, right? Minus 36, 9, minus 9, correct? So this is the value. Let's use calculator to calculate this value. So we have uh, 3 times 81 minus 4 times 27 minus 36 times 9 minus 9 and that is minus 198. So that becomes the uh, third point where we have this uh, turning point. Correct? Uh, now question number four is to analyze the three points it's a you know cortic equation so you could expect a graph of this equation as um, something like this leading coefficient correct uh, and we found these three turning points so going from uh, left to right these points clearly are uh, we are given the very first one is minus 2 minus 73 this is at 0 0 and the third one we just found as 3 and minus 198 right so these are the points now from the graph you can say local minimums at these two extremes and maximum at at the origin now how do we really analyze it? So let's analyze our derivative. So we'll now derivative f dash x will be analyzed. We know there are three critical numbers. Okay. Now these three critical numbers are at x equals to minus 2, 0 and 3. So let's take a test point in each interval. So here minus 3 could be taken, minus 1, 1 and 4. So these are the test point for us, right? And the derivative of the function f dash x has these factors, which is uh, 12x, and then we have x minus 3, and we have x plus 2, x plus 2. So these are the three factors for us, correct? So when I substitute a negative value, this will be negative, this will be negative, that will be positive, this will be positive. In x, uh, minus 3 if I substitute negative 3 it becomes uh, more negative minus 1 is also negative 1 is also negative and 4 will make it positive in x plus 2 this will be negative and these values will be positive now if we combine multiply these three what do we notice we notice that in this case three negatives two negatives one negative all positive right so so the nature of the graph basically is negative means the graph is decreasing in this interval right 
it is increasing that is positive decreasing and then again increasing correct so that clearly means that at equals to minus 2 we have a local minimum right so we have minimum here we have a maximum here and we have a minimum at x equals to 3 is that clear to you so that is how we are going to analyze the three points perfect so from this analysis we can now write down our answer that we have a local minimum at x equals to minus 2 and 3 right and we have local maximum at x equals to 0 is that clear to you so that is how you could answer this question i hope the steps are absolutely clear feel free to go through this once again and if there are any doubts you may just post them and uh, i'll provide you with additional help thanks for watching and all the best Thank you.